Hello and welcome to Feminine Success Secrets, the place that women come to become powerfully feminine. I'm Candace Onida. Today's video is about how to get into your feminine versus feminist power. Today's video is in response to a question from a subscriber. By the way, love the questions from my subscribers. You're such amazing wise women out there. I love getting your questions. I do have a backlog, so I'm getting to them. I either answer your questions in the comments or sometimes I'm gonna turn them into a video like today. Today's video is in response to a subscriber's question. Akashdeep Kaur asks, can you make a video on feminism? What are your opinions on being a feminist? Akashdeep, it's a really good question. In order to answer your question, I want to go back in time into history a little bit. And also before I even go there, just to remember that when I speak about being feminine, I am talking about inner forces, things that come from inside us and that women and men have feminine and masculine forces inside them that we operate from. This is not about man, woman, male, female. So if we look back in time in history, there were movements that happened that sort of became very big in the 60s, of course, the feminist movement that began then. Really, we have to go back even further to the time of the suffragettes who were protesting and fighting for the right for women to vote. That's what led into the feminist and the civil rights movement, which were pretty closely enmeshed. A movement that was about rights, rights of equality, and as we know, such an important time in the history, especially of the United States. It was a time where people were fighting against an oppressive system, fighting against something in order to assert their power and their desire to be equal. Again, very important things. But just hear the sound of the words that I used. It was fighting against something. And what ended up happening by virtue of us fighting against the patriarchal system that was in place in the 60s is we ended up entering that world, entering the workforce, entering this compete, fight and win world, corporate world, that we then maintained doing that. We kept fighting against, we kept proving ourselves, we kept overworking and striving and pushing. Ah, and that has continued well into the 21st century where we, the habits that we've had as women and just the fact that we kind of took on the way the corporate world was set up by men for men, right? I feel a lot of gratitude for our sister forebears who laid the pathway for women to have equality with men. Now what we've got to make sure of doesn't happen here is equality means a loss of something. Equality meaning we're all the same. And in my observation, it meant we all became dudes. <laughs> we became masculine. What I stand for and the movement that I am part of is the feminine movement. And what I see this is, is it's an evolution from that, from the feminist movement, an evolution, a movement toward feminine values. The Dalai Lama himself said, the world will be saved by the Western woman. And I firmly believe that what the Dalai Lama meant was that the world is desperate and hungry for feminine values to come back to the fore. And it will be women that lead the way. This is a movement that is not a fight against anything. It is a pledge toward opening, toward bringing these values of community and support and care and opening and love back into the world. The feminine movement is about women being allowed to be women again, to be feminine again, and for men being allowed to be masculine again, by the way. So those of you that have listened to me for a while know that when I train about feminine and masculine qualities, firstly, I'm talking about inner qualities, not about how you dress or how you look, but we're talking about inner qualities, inner values. And what I observed is that there is such gross misunderstanding about what masculine feminine actually means, right? It doesn't mean man, woman. It means forces that live inside of us. And what often has happened is we, well, people have ended up in what I call the false masculine and false feminine. What we're really trying to evolve into is the true feminine and the true masculine. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail about that today, but let's just put on the table that there are true or elevated or exalted forms 
of the feminine and the masculine and that's what we're trying to really achieve here so the feminine movement is something i am part of you are part of as we are relearning what it means to be in our feminine power and to be successful from our feminine and it's not to the exclusion of your masculine we're not going to cut off all that wonderful structural analytical know-how and all the doing that you've learnt. This is about an incorporation where the feminine employs her masculine in order to have this full representation of yourself, this fully authentic, juicy, powerful representation of who you are authentically in your life as a woman right now in the 21st century. So today I've spoken a bit about the different usage of the terms fem feminist and feminine in the way that I use them. Talked a bit about history of the feminist movement and the evolution or the revolution that's happening at the moment about the feminine movement. If you liked the video today, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I post every Sunday. And remember, when you have the courage to go out there and shine, you give others permission to do the same. So let's go out there and shine this week. Bye-bye for now.